44 Magnum always over penetrates. It'll over penetrate. It'll go through the bad guy in your house. It'll go through two walls, four walls, eight walls. It'll kill the neighbor <laughs> after going through the wall. This is what I've heard so many hundreds of times during ballistic testing or talking about 44 Magnum. And I thought, you know what? Let's settle this now. Let's do a wood penetration test. And let's see how far 44 Magnum penetrates wood compared to something very average, very standard. Four inch, nine millimeter pistol. So what I have is a whole bunch of different rounds. And I've always told people load choice matters more than anything. And what they're saying about over penetration, I think pretty much they're talking about that. Your 240 grain soft point or a full metal jacket or something like that. And I've always said, you know what? A lighter hollow point might do better. Probably penetrates no more than anything else. So let's put that to the test. I have a bunch of different nine millimeter rounds here. I'll name them off. We have the HST plus P124 grain and the Gold Dot plus P124 grain. Very common rounds. We'll see how far those penetrate in wood. Then we have the Winchester PDX1 or Defender as it's known now. But the HST, 1166 feet per second, all these numbers I'm gonna list in these particular guns or similar guns. 1166 feet per second, 374 foot pounds. 1202 feet per second with the Gold Dot, 398 foot pounds. 328 foot pounds, 1091 feet per second with the Defender. We have some custom 147 grain X2, XTP, 947 feet per second, 293 foot pounds. Now here, this is where it's gonna get interesting. We have the 115 grain Winchester forged, full metal jacket. It's rated at 1190 feet per second, 362 foot pounds in a four inch barrel. I've never chronographed that myself, but that's what they list. And then the soft point 44 Magnum, 1173 feet per second, 733 foot pounds. Next up we have the anti-personnel Buffalo Bore 44 Magnum. I've never actually tested that yet, but in a four inch barrel, they have it rated at 1387 feet per second, 769 foot pounds. So that might be a load I would recommend. Horny Handgun Hunter, uh, 1284 feet per second, 200 grain of solid copper, 732 foot pounds. I'd probably recommend that as well. And the 240 grain XTP, 1252 feet per second, 835 feet per second. I probably would not recommend that for self defense. And then we have one I probably would I would recommend to anybody and that is a low loaded 44 magnum 1285 feet per second with that pmc bronze it's only a 180 grain bullet only 1285 feet per second 660 foot pounds energy very nice load for a personal defense so here is our wood pack here and i had a lot of complaints in the past that the wood pack was sliding so we definitely fixed that here we got some boards screwed in place and we have eight boards here. That's a lot of wood to try to penetrate. So let's hit all of these with nine millimeter and 44 mag and just see how they compare to each other. Let's get started. I'm just gonna run through the list here. I'm gonna do nine millimeter first. And by the way, I hit all these shots very flat on this wood. Sometimes the camera angle lies to you a little bit, but I'm hitting them straight on. First up, we have the nine millimeter HST. A couple of rounds each. Next up, we have the gold dot. Next up, we have the Hornady Custom 147 grain XTP. Nine millimeter full metal jacket. This one's known for penetrating, so let's see what we get. Gonna check that one. No pass throughs. Next up, we have the PDX1, also known as the Defender nowadays. See how this does. All right, now we're gonna move on to the 44 Mag. All right, first up, we have the Soft Point. Now, this is one I am definitely concerned about here. <laughs> So let's see how this does. Yeah. 
That's <laughs> a lot of force. Well, we caught it. All right, next up we have the Buffalo Boar Anti-Personnel 180 grain. Just based, by the, based on the ballistics, I probably would carry this. See how this does. Not a ton of recoil, actually a little bit less than that soft point. All right, next up we got the 200 grain solid copper Hornady handgun hunter. That one's recoil is really mild. Next up we have the 240 grain XTP, one of the more powerful rounds on the table. No single action. <laughs> what happened there? The bullet came out the top. I'm going to have to aim a little bit lower. And that one was a little too low. I'm going to do another one. Another 240 grain XTP. That one was centered. Next up, we have the one I probably would recommend for carrying in a revolver like this, the PMC. All right, let's take this board apart and take a look at, and see what we got. All right, before I take this thing apart, this is a little unnerving here. <laughs> we have bullets sitting on a table here. Interesting. I believe that these are the XTPs that came through the wood and somehow they are on the table. Both of them. So that might indicate it bounced off something and came back. Interesting to say the least. So let's take this thing apart and take a look. So here we are. Here's our board one and you know, I'm not gonna be surprised that everything's probably gonna go through that. Probably. Everything went through that. You can definitely tell the 44 impacts versus the 9mm are different for sure. Here is two. Wow, this thing is really chewed up here. <laughs> Where we hit the 44 XTP, that really messed it up. But everything went through here. Definitely the 44 is. Here is our third board, it's stuck together, and there's bullets I can see here. All right, here's something here. This is the back of three. This is the, the personal, you know, the personal defense 44, the Buffalo Bore 180 grain. It stopped both of those in the third board. And then, it stopped the handgun hunter in the third board. And then going on to the fourth board, we have a PMC. We have another handgun hunter. And we have the soft point. And then in board three, we stopped the Winchester Defender PDX-1. Beginning of four, we stopped the 147 grain. So by board four, we have stopped two nine millimeters. But by four, by boy, by board four, we have stopped one, two, three, four, 44s. We stopped four 44s, but only two nine millimeters. 
Not looking too good for this whole statement I hear all the time. There's our PMC, it's really chewed up really bad. And here's our soft point that stopped at the beginning of four. Nine millimeter XTP. All right, we're gonna move on. Here's the back of four. And the back of four, we stopped both gold dots, nine millimeter, and the HST. So here is board five. And big dent from the HST, big dent from the gold dot. Nothing from the nine millimeter XTP. Nothing from the full metal jacket. So the full metal jacket, both are stopped in four. Nothing from the PDX1, nothing from the 44 soft point. A big dent, two big dents from the 240 green XTP. We haven't seen that yet, except the ones that came out onto the table here. Nothing from the Buffalo Boar, nothing from the Handgun Hunter. The PMC did crack board five. And here's the back of board five. Nothing came out the back of board five. So what we're looking at here is the ones that penetrated the furthest out of all these rounds, these 10 rounds, was just the 144, the 240 grain XTP, which was in the 800 foot pound energy range. That was the only one in the 800 foot pounds energy range. The Buffalo Boar, the Handgun Hunter, the uh, Soft Point, these were all in the in the 700 foot pound energy range. And then the PMC was in the 600 foot pounds energy range. So definitely bullet design matters here. I'm gonna say what would be the best here for 44 Magnum? It looks like probably our Buffalo Boar 180 grain. That one penetrated, I believe, the least out of all the 44s. Had a good amount of energy, very good round. So does 44 Magnum over penetrate when we look at a test like this compared to an average old nine millimeter? Absolutely not. I'm not seeing anything here that's indicating that a 44 Magnum is over penetrating something like this. And this is gonna represent, you know, basically a house. Um, this gives a nice solid representation of, of what to expect. And I'm not seeing over penetration. Now, if we talk about like a car door or something like that, a 44 mag is going to penetrate more than a 357 mag. Might even penetrate more than a 9mm. However, I think 9mm does penetrate really well. So I'm just not seeing where this where this statement is coming into play. And we're definitely seeing here that the heavier bullets do a little bit more damage because the XTP and the and the and the soft point are both 240 grains. And those are the ones that, that seem to have done the most damage here on board four. So just very interesting results. I kind of expected this, but not quite to this overwhelming degree that we're seeing here. Absolutely. Um, 44 does not over penetrate in this type of a uh, hard barrier test. Um, so very interesting here. You need to choose your loads correctly and for 44 mag i'm going to say 180 grain or you can get it 165 grain no more than 200 grain for a hollow point but it'll work so that's what you get today so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching